Hey guys, Joshua Gadamo here with another Gundam MSIA review, and today I'm going to review the extended MSIA New Gundam. And uh, just a quick comparison with the version 1 release. Very, very delicately. Um, actually, this works out. This is the uh, Japanese release original on the left and uh, it has an American uh, booster pack or funnel pack if you will. Funny thing about the American funnel pack I gotta say it was kind of disappointing that the American funnel pack which I'm sh is on my Japanese figure here didn't really come apart except for this one. On the Japanese figure it did. Well, it was a pain in the butt. I mean a stupid thing wouldn't hold together. It just crumbles. And so, <laughs> the American one being one piece, after you get the Japanese version, you kind of actually just are thankful for that crappy single piece of plastic. But um, you can see they look a lot alike, but the thing that's really different is the flexibility. Enough of my complaints about the version one. Albeit, I'm noticing the same issue right here with the extended pack. It just doesn't really want to stay together. And that kind of tests my patience, just a little. But uh, that's my only gripe so far, is uh, funnel packs. They come apart, and uh, they're a little bit tricky to get together to where they'll stay together. See? That's the, it's, it's, it's an obvious, you know, if it's going to come apart, for good, it's going to come apart for bad. You can't have it both ways. But, that aside, let's get to the awesomeness of this figure. It is just built with articulation. It's amazing. Comes with two closed fists, two sword hands, two grabbing hands, and one basketball hand. Complete with basketball. Okay, maybe not. But uh, that is Char's escape pod, which he slams into Axis. <laughs> And that's pretty cool. That's for the right hand. Shield's pretty neat. Lando Bell unit on there. Little missiles. No way, nowhere to store a beam rifle or anything. Bazooka goes in the same way it does on the others. Just slides in there, which is nice. Handle actually folds up and moves. I like that. I do. Bazooka has nice detail. Just real nice detail. I mean, they always did. But uh, it has nice detail. Gonna get daring here. Oh, there we go. Aww. Well, you know, you get the idea. If it comes apart, it will. <laughs> you can't specify when it goes together for good and when it comes apart for bad. But it can go on there, it's just kind of a delicate process. And I, I seems to be with any of the versions they've done that that it's happened. I don't know about the robot spirit version. Um, this is kind of cool. That's the beam saber. Has this teeny tiny toothpick of a blade for right here. Beam little pick. Bigger blade for uh, right here. And uh, even in the sword hand, he holds this quite nicely. It's got the small one here, which is stored in here. And uh, this, like, pulls back and angles out, which is pretty nice. Much nicer than the version 1. Beam rifle has a lot more detail than before. I like it. Um, much better than the Sazabi Extended's beam rifle, which uh, made the version 1 beam rifle look better somehow, some way. But uh, pretty nice. Comparison with the uh, version one Japanese beam rifle. You can see there's quite a bit of difference between the size and the detail. I like the extended rifle. Let's get to the articulation of this figure, which is where all of his plus sides really are. Hands are on a ball joint, crazy flexible. Double jointed arms. That's on the ball joint too. That moves around the shoulder. I mean, like, he's just unbelievably flexible. Really is. 
two joints in the head. Head can turn 360 degrees. This little guy moves. Little thrusters move just slightly. Moves in the waist. Can spin there. Legs can go out. That far forwards, that far back. Double jointed knee. Nice detail on the thrusters. Foot has all kinds of flexibility in there. And it's just one very cool figure. As I said, the only thing that I can really complain is the funnel pack, but the funnel pack does come apart. And for that, you know, we are grateful. Kind of just your standard funnels. There they are. There's that one, two, three, four, five, six of them. There's no way to put them up or anything, unfortunately. But um, if you were creative, you could. It's just pretty, pretty cool. Well, if you can find this hard to find figure, I recommend that you get him. Um, I do recommend though, if you get the funnel pack together and you get it on his backpack without it falling off, that you don't touch him because it will fall off. But like I said, funnels come apart. That's a big deal and they're very detailed. You gotta love that. Amazing figure. Hope you enjoyed the review, and if you're looking for Gundam MSA action figures or cool accessories to go with them, make sure to check out our store, Gundams R Us, your favorite arms dealer. There's a link down below in the more info area, and we get new stuff all the time. Catch you guys later.